How do I make him look my direction since Julie wants to say no to him? I can't sit back and watch another girl take him away from me, it can't happen, not under my watch. Rita, you have to think of something very fast, this is your opportunity to marry into a wealthy family, not all those type of low class men that are always disturbing my life. That beautiful engagement ring I saw him holding looks very expensive. Imagine how it will look on my finger. I will flaunt it everywhere I go so other girls will become very jealous of me. I know all of them will want to be in my shoes. <laughs> I will stay here and wait for her. I know she will pass this place soon. If I see her, I will use style and inquire from her. If she has actually finalized things with Mike, in that way, I will be able to know how and when to make a move on him. Oh there she is, she's coming this way, I better act normal, so she won't understand what I'm up to. Rita, my good friend, how are you doing this evening? This one you just standing at your entrance door looking so tensed up, any problems? What do you mean I look so tensed? You do? Me? Looking tensed? No way, why would I look tensed, you don't know what you are saying. By the way... Have you given Mike a reply for his proposal? Not yet, I haven't seen him since then. Why are you still wasting time, since you have decided not to marry him? Go and tell him what's on your mind already, there's no time, it will help him move on quickly with his life. Or are you changing your mind now, hmm? Say the truth, you want him, you only pretending. Did you even listen to yourself speak, oh? I should go and tell him what's on my mind. Rita, are you okay? Are you drunk or something? Because I'm not understanding you this evening. What do you mean no time? Is it your time? Besides, since I'm not interested in him, why should I be the one looking for him for reply? If he was serious in the first place, he is supposed to look for me not the other way. Is that why you say I'm drunk? You sounded suspicious. Okay, if you say so, who am I to say otherwise, what's even my business in it, in the first place? Now, tell me, what's cooking, I know you too well, let the cat out of the bag already. What do you mean? <laughs> oh no. Julie leave me alone please, I'm not in the mood for this. I said it, she's acting strange. When has she become Mike's sister that she is worrying for him? Why hasn't Julie come to look for me? It's been one week, is it that she doesn't like me, or, is she playing hard to get? Hmm. Maybe. It's possible. Or maybe not. I'm nervous. What if she says no to me? What will I do then? The suspense is killing me already, I don't think I can take it anymore. You know what? I'm going today to see her, I must find out what she thinks about my proposal. I will ask her to meet me up in the restaurant in town, then I present her with a new dress. I know she will be happier. So Julie, I have been waiting for you to give me a reply. Don't you like me? Please accept my ring, I had to buy a very expensive one just to make sure you have the best. I'm very sorry Mike, but marriage is far more deeper than the superficial beauty of an expensive engagement ring. Really, what are you saying? What I'm saying is that I cannot marry you, so there won't be any need for that ring or better still, look for another girl who will be willing to accept it. What? Oh no. This can't be happening. But if I may ask, why don't you want to accept my ring? It's because you're not my type of person, don't get me wrong, the qualities I want in a man, I don't see them in you. I'm going crazy right now. Julie, no woman has ever rejected me, but you Julie said I'm not your type. I took you to an expensive restaurant and bought you lunch, I proposed to you with an expensive ring, I even got you a very expensive dress, so tell me, what other thing do you want for me to do for you to see that I truly care about you? You think marriage is about these things you mentioned here? So what then is marriage, if not a man who can take good care of you? Those things you mentioned doesn't mean you can take good care of me, just look at the way you are reacting in front of me now. Julie, you can never find another man in this world who will be more caring to you than me. That's a lie, I know God is going to send me the man of my dreams who will have the right qualities. 
In fact, get down from my car this minute before I do something stupid. I'm going to get down, but learn to control your temper. Just look at her. I feel like squeezing her neck. Who does she think she is? A handsome man like me. Step slow to her level, and she's rejecting me. I don't blame her at all. I only blame myself. Nonsense. Wonders shall never cease to end. Did you just see the way he reacted when I told him I wasn't going to marry him? If he had a gun in his hands, he would have shot me there and then. Ordinary I won't marry you, and he's already going crazy. This is to tell you that he is still the same old Mike. I don't need a sweet sayer to tell me I made the right decision by not accepting him. It's best to remain single than marry this type. If I enter into the house of a man like this Michael, he might just end my life untimely all in the name of marriage. God forbid bad things in my life. Rita, you don't even know what happened today. What happened? I finally gave Mike a piece of my mind. He became so mad at me, he even asked me to get down from his car. He was so furious. I'm very glad I didn't accept him. Any girl that will fall into his hands will suffer physical and emotional torture. I see him as a man without control of his temper, and who doesn't have boundaries to what is normal or abnormal. Oh! Is that what this is all about? I thought it was something interesting. You are only exaggerating. Why won't he react that way? Put yourself in his shoes, and you will do worse than him. What do you mean by that? What are you saying? I mean his reaction is based on the fact that he was heartbroken because you rejected him, that's the way I see it, that doesn't make him a bad person, he's only human, and we humans react in certain ways when we are disappointed, right? I don't know why you keep defending him each time, well, if that is the way you see it, then so be it. I'm going inside, see you. Yes. She finally said no to him. The coast is now clear for me, I must make him look my direction by all means possible. I feel so bad, I can't seem to take my mind off what Julie did to me. I can't still believe this girl did this to me, Mike of all people was rejected. I have never felt this worthless in my life before, who does she even think she is? Mike, what's the matter, why are you talking to yourself? Mother can you just imagine, I bought a very expensive ring to propose to Julie, I also bought her expensive dress and meal, but in the end she turned down my proposal, she rejected me. Are you serious, you did all that for her and yet she rejected you, what was her reason? She said I'm not her type of man. Really, and what class does she belong to begin with that she will reject you, my son, forget about her and move on with your life. There are a thousand and one girl who will be ready to marry you, she is not the only person in this world, so stop getting yourself worked up for nothing. Okay, no problem, I will try. Should I go to his house, I will act like I came to sympathize with him. No, that looks suspicious. Let me call him since I even have his number, so we meet up somewhere. Who's calling? Mike, you came? Let's sit please. Okay, what are we doing here? Why did you want to see me? I wanted to know how you were faring, I couldn't help it but give you a call when I heard Julie didn't accept your engagement ring. I was deeply touched, if you ever need a shoulder to lean on, then don't hesitate to call me, because I will be there to support you. Really? Yes. You said something that caught my attention that day I proposed to Julie. Did you really mean it? Rita, will you accept that beautiful ring you saw that day, and be my wife? The life that I had wanted to have with Julie, you and I can still have that life together, if you say yes to me. Oh my goodness, it worked. What did you say? Never mind. Yes, yes. I accept to be your wife. Thank you so much for accepting me. I don't have the ring here, but I will quickly go to the car to get it for you, okay? Okay. Oh my goodness, it worked. 
I didn't know it was going to be this easy. I can't believe the beautiful expensive engagement diamond ring is going to be mine now. Wow. I'm getting engaged. This expensive diamond ring looks very beautiful on my finger. Let's go home. I will drop you off. Okay. What am I seeing like this? Is that not Rita in Mike's car? What is she doing with him in his car? And why were the two of them acting like they are in love? This is strange. Rita, I noticed these days, I see you and Mike together, what is going on? Julie, the ring you rejected, now belongs to me, I'm getting married soon. What? Getting married to Mike? You mean he proposed to you, after I turned him down, and you went ahead to accept him? Yes I did, just check out my finger, aren't they beautiful? I see. You don't know what you are doing, but at the same time, I see your mind is made up, and I wish you best of luck. You mean you are not mad at me? Mad at you? Why would I be? I have told you before that he is not the man for me. So you can go ahead and marry him if you want. Thank you Julie for your understanding. Rita, my daughter, congratulations on your marriage. Thank you mom. You are now a married woman, so you must learn to be a good wife to your husband and in-laws. I raised you well, so I know your union with Mike will be peaceful and happy. Thank you mom. Mom, I would like you to have this money, now that I am married into a wealthy family, I will make sure you and my siblings never lack again in this life. I'm going to take proper care of all of you with the help of my husband. All this money for me? Thank you very much my child, may God bless you always. Amen, bless you too mummy. What is she sitting down there talking with her mother? Is that money she's giving to her like that? So if I didn't see her now, she would pretend to me that she didn't give her anything, how dare she give her mother, my hard earned money especially without my concert. She's in big trouble with me already, we have not yet started this marriage, and she's already showing herself like this. I'm angered, I must deal with her later when we reach the hotel. I will show her the stuff I'm made of, nobody messes with me and go free, if I don't teach her a lesson now, that's how she will continue to lavish my wealth and I will become poor like them in no time. I won't allow that in my house. I must go and separate the two of them so she doesn't give her any other thing. Oh my husband is here. I hope he didn't see me giving my mom this money. He's looking this direction, and the looks on his face is furious. Did somebody upset him or what? Mummy, I have to go, my husband is here. No problem, remember all that I have told you. Babe, let us go now, the wedding is over. Okay, can I at least say goodbye to my siblings? No, move it. When I say move you move, did you hear me? I won't waste time I promise, it looks somehow for me to leave the wedding venue without saying goodbye to my friends and family. Look at this girl talking when I'm talking, I'm your husband now and when I talk you keep quiet, you don't talk when I'm talking, did you hear that, now move it. Oh my goodness, babe stop dragging me like this in public, people are watching, we just got married. Why are you embarrassing me in front of our guests like this? Have some shame. Who cares if people are watching or not? Let them watch. It's none of my business. Just do what I said. Okay, let's go. Jane, did you see what just happened? Yes I did. Our sister's husband was dragging her in public, in front of all the guests. He even pushed her. Do you think we should tell our mother about it? I know, I'm just confused. I hope she's okay. What was the meaning of that at the wedding venue? Meaning of what? You raised your hands on me? Start speaking the truth this minute before I slap you again. I still don't know what I did to you for you to be this angry with me. Why not you tell me so I know? Oh you think I didn't see you giving your mother huge sum of money? How dare you? You think being married to me gives you the power to dash my money to strangers without my concert? 
But my mother is not a stranger, she's your mother-in-law. Mother-in-law my foot. From today, never you give out my money to anybody, no matter who they are. Hope you heard me well because next time, I won't be this considerate. Yes I did, it won't happen again. Ye, 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 ye. What have I gotten myself into? I hope I didn't make a mistake by marrying this man. He beat me up this way immediately after our wedding just because I gave my mom some money to take home. Is it now a crime to support my own family? How will I fulfill all the promises I made to my family if this man is going to be acting this way each time I give my people money? It will be difficult. God please help me. I think I should go and ask him for forgiveness. I can't let this quarrel linger for too long, it's our wedding, and we can't start today to keep malice. I hope he forgives me. I'm scared. Babes, you're here. Yes, what is it? I'm sorry for what happened, I didn't know it will make you upset, please forgive me. Just make sure it doesn't repeat itself again. It won't. That's my girl, I'm hungry, get us something to eat, and don't forget, it's our wedding night. I will go get us some food, I will be right back. Okay. What type of human being is this? He switches his emotions very quickly, this minute he is angry, next minute, he's already so sweet, how can one person be hot and cold at the same time? I don't understand. I hope he likes my cooking. Let me taste it, hope it's delicious. Lord have mercy on me. Rita. Didn't your mother teach you how to cook food? What rubbish is this you served me? Babe. You poured the food on me, why? What's wrong with the food? So you don't know what's wrong with this food? No, I don't know, because I prepared it well with all my heart, please tell me. If you say you don't know what is wrong with the food that you cook yourself, then you have to taste it in front of me. Let's see if you will still say the same thing. Now, taste that food quickly. But babe, the entire food has already poured on the floor, even the plate shattered into pieces, I cannot taste food that is already on the floor. Why can't you taste the food from the floor? In fact, pack them up into another plate and start eating it in front of me here and now. What? Lord please help me, I'm in big trouble. Rita, don't let me do something that I will regret. Okay, here's the food. I have finished packing it into another plate, what should I do with it? Now eat it, finish it all, you can't waste food in my house. But babe, take a good look at the food, you will see that it's no longer good for consumption. Okay, I will eat it. Now, tell me what's wrong with that poison you served me. I will tell you myself, that food has too much salt in it. Next time when you want to cook for me, mind the amount of salt you add into the pot. Because if it happens again, you wouldn't like what I would do to you. Go and ask my mother. She will tell you I don't joke with good food and I can't equally stand badly made food. Tidy this kitchen this minute and make for me another thing to eat. Don't waste my time, I'm running out of patience. Okay, but I didn't even add salt when I was cooking. So how come you say it's too salty? Have I not told you not to talk when I'm talking? So you call me a liar? No, no. I didn't say that. I'm so sorry. Please don't beat me again. I don't want to die young. What have I gotten myself into? My own husband made me eat up food that was packed from the floor. Who would have thought that a handsome looking man like my husband can make his own wife he married newly, eat dirty food from the kitchen floor? Oh God, give me the strength and the heart to endure whatever that will come my way, it's all my fault, I blame myself, I was carried away by worldly and earthly riches that he has, that I overlooked all his bad behavior and accepted to marry him. Or maybe I haven't used the right formula for putting him at his best behavior. Maybe the fault is mine. People used to say that every man has a formula. I need to find the best way to follow him so he will always be happy with me. Maybe I'm not doing things right. I know if I start doing things the way he wants, he will always be happy with me. 
Mom, I need money to pay for so many things in school. So many things like what? Like my practicals and handouts. Yes, Mom, I equally need money to buy my textbooks. What? Even you too, Jane. Money? But I don't have money for all these things you people are mentioning now. Maybe we should call Rita. Kate, I don't have money to give to the two of you. I think we should call your sister. She promised to help us financially. Oh, Sister Rita, I hope she's fine in her marriage. What did you say? Oh, Mom, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. I don't think calling her is a good idea. I mean she just got married. Let's give her space and time to put things in place before we can begin to demand money from her. Mom, why did you do that? Pick up the phone and dial her number, quick. I read in books where they said husband and wife intimacy is a good way to make a man treat his wife well. Maybe I should try going to him when he returns. It might be the secret to what I'm looking for. Julie, you going home? Yes, Brother Paul. Church service is over and there is nothing for me to do again in the church. Okay, see you next Sunday. Bye. She's such a beautiful girl and she's well behaved too. I'm secretly in love with her. If I get this job that I have been praying to God about, I will propose to her immediately. Why hasn't he returned home yet? I'm already nervous trying to go to him for intimacy. I have never been the first to ask for it. He has always been the one coming to ask me about it. I just hope it works. I think he's back now. I will quickly go into our bedroom and change into something sexy. <laughs>